Hello everyone, welcome. Again, too, we'd like to create a video for all of our extraordinary Kasik ministers from an end-to-end -end perspective of where the sacristan will be preparing all the way to the sacristan, uh, purifying the vessels for the precious blood. As all of you know, uh, through announcements as well as Father Corcoran's Corner, that we are going to be re-implementing distributing the precious blood at two banks on July 1st and July 2nd at those masses going forward. And they will only be distributed at the weekend masses as well as Holy Day of Obligation. So again, too, this is from the sacristan perspective. So to prepare for this, we will still have the tray as we prepare for this. So there's no difference in that tray as you're preparing with the saboria as well as the chalice for the priest and the lavabo with the purificator to wipe the hands. What we will be implementing now too are two different uh, two different scenarios that I will only include with the extraordinary extraordinary ministers of the cup to have the silver cup on the tray. So we will be taking two silver cups and they are located right above the sink in the upper cabinet here. Okay, so we will be implementing that. If there is a deacon assistant, we will also include a third cup that will be distributed to him at Holy Communion as well too, okay, before we distribute it out. But for the purposes of this training, we're just gonna use the two cups, okay? Um, and we can answer any questions going forward. So what we have agreed upon at this point in time is we'll, we will be going in like as if you would fill up for the cruets, as we would fill up two ounces in our cruets, or if for any reason for the daily mass that we, we fill up the cruets and put on here, but this is for purposes only the weekend mass. We'll be using the, the red wine that we normally use here, and we will also be using our measuring cup, and we'll be measuring two ounces. Oh, sorry. And again, too, for this purpose, again, too, none of this is consecrated, so I want to make sure you know this as well, too, as we go through the rest of this training. We will put that in to the cup over here, to the silver cup, and we would do the same thing for the second cup. I'm not just for, you know, purposes of not wasting our materials here, I'm not going to fill up a second cup. Obviously, we would put the cap back on, put the wine back in to the cabinet, and at some point in time, we will be able to sanitize the, the measuring cup. Now, because of the situation of this, we also need a purificator, okay? And we will explain more about the purificator, the purificator. But if we are not gonna have a deacon, we would only need two purificators from the drawer you would normally get them from in here, okay? And I suggest that you put them to the side because when we do put them on top and we would walk with the, uh, the, the, the tray to the credence table in the sanctuary, sometimes it might splash up and it might, it, it might soil the purificator right away. So if you feel comfortable, you can take this whole tray and you can put it up onto the cart right over here. And what you would do then is obviously wheel the cart. We're not going to go all the way up there with this, but we suggest that you wheel it down one of the side aisles Okay, not down the middle aisle where the baptismal font is. The reason why is because, again, too, with the stone, it'll start, it'll start making the uh, wine here splash up. And again, too, if you do know, in the back of our sanctuary, we have the little, we have the little ramp that goes up that you would be able to reach to the credence table in our sanctuary. Okay, again, too, this is an option. If you feel comfortable carrying it up, you're more than welcome to. So again, too, from this perspective of our readiness, we are done here in the, in the sacristy and we're gonna go process up as if we already brought the tray up to the credence table of the sanctuary. Thank you. Okay, so as we continue our training, we've already transported, if you're the sacristan, the tray up over here to the credence table, uh, or the sanctuary credence table. So as you see, as I put the three cups here, again, too, this is inclusive if we have a deacon assisting at a mass. But for the purposes, as I mentioned in, um, earlier in the video, that we are not going to really be inclusive of the uh, deacon right now at this point, but he would have a cup up over here for his deacon, Bob Velsich, or myself. So for right now, I'm going to take this away in terms of our training, but this is exactly how we set up. We would like you to put the cups so we're not so cluttered on the tray to put them, again, to on the table themselves. Okay, so thank you very much. 
So as normal, um, again, too, we will request all the extraordinary Eucharistic ministers to come and sanitize their hands before distributing. That also includes those that are distributing a common cup. So again, too, as you see, they would distribute, I'm uh, sorry, they would sanitize their hands and they would go in line. Now, for this video purpose right now, we have Zenny Pineda and Mike O'Connor who are going to be distributing the common cup. We are going to request those who are distributing the common cup, we're going to call them cup one and cup two, to always, always stand at the end of our extraordinary, extraordinary Eucharistic minister line. So if you're distributing the precious body as you normally do now, you would still be lining up along the, um, the, the, the bottom step of the sanctuary on this side. But those two, again, two for the purposes we don't have a deacon included in this mass, will always be at the end at the end too. So cup one and two will always be at the end of this line or closest to our center aisle, however you want to look at that, when you are facing the sanctuary at the bottom step. Thank you very much. Okay, at this point, after the priest has consumed the precious body and the precious blood, the, the priest, the celebrant at the mass, as well as the sacristan, or if there is a deacon, Get to for the purposes of this video, we are not using the deacon in this row, we're using a sacristan. We'll distribute the precious body and precious blood to our extraordinary Eucharistic ministers in the line. And remember, those who are distributing the common cup will always be at the end of the line here, so we know who to give the cup to so they can go to their spots. Okay, so in this aspect, we are going to be using two cues verbally and not verbally. So if you do not want to, as an extraordinary Eucharistic minister, to receive the blood of Christ, you will just keep your hands folded, but reverence the body of blood, I'm sorry, the body of the, the blood of Christ, excuse me, with a bow. If you do want to, you will slightly open your hands, and the sacristan, or if it is a deacon at the Mass, will say the blood of Christ. Okay, that will be his invitation to you, or her invitation to you, to receive it, and you will say amen. So as you will see Father Kevin and I going along the line here, and you will see that some will consume, some will not. The way we purify for when somebody consumes is we have the purificator in one hand, and the, body, and the blood of Christ in the other hand in the common cup. After they consume, you will just wipe the spot, turn the cup slightly, and then also in your hand, rotate the purificator so you're not wiping off with the same spot you just wiped off with. Same thing, the reason why we're turning the common cup is because we don't want somebody consumed from the same spot somebody else just consumed from. Okay, so we will demonstrate this right now. Amen. Blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. I'm sorry, you didn't understand. That was incorrect. He, Mike kept his hands folded, so I should not have said the blood of Christ, but he didn't open them up as I stated, so I apologize for that. The blood of Christ. Zenny, where you'll go and play uh, cup two. Mike, you'll stay in the cup one over here, okay? And then the priest will go down with his, um, with his orium. And as I am appearing here, a couple of orium for those to receive, and we'll have her sit in a small cup too. Okay. So the closing is going to go next to Father Kevin. If you want to stay here. So with this being stated, we'll, we'll demonstrate now when we do have recipients coming up from our congregation. So as we, you will see right now, we have two recipients receiving both the body and blood of Christ. Okay, 
Okay, so as you saw that we have a recipients who receive both the body and the blood of Christ. As we have mentioned many, many times, you will hear in announcements, as well as, as we talk throughout the course of this, is that this is totally optional to receive the, 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 the blood of Christ, okay? So with that being stated, the fullness of receiving the blood or, or receiving the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ is not by receiving both species of the body as well as the blood. It's even a drop of blood or even a speck of consecrated host, and you are receiving the fullness. So please do not think that you have to receive both. There is an optional um, openness to all of this, and nobody is being judged in this. So again, too, I do thank everybody. As you would see, this is exactly how we would line up. And again, too, from those who are distributing the precious blood, we are distributing it between banks, or our, our, our banks over here, five and six, and also banks four and three, three and four over here. So with that being stated, the greeters will, will suggest and we will make announcements where if you're in bank one or two, we are gonna request for you to come around to get in line to either bank three or four. If you are in bank seven or the station's chapel, we are going to instruct the greeters to have you get into banks either six or five or six. That is if you want to receive both species, the precious body and precious blood. Other than that, if you just want to receive the precious body, and let's say you're sitting in bank one, there's no changes. It is as it is right now. So again, to thank you very much. And if you don't know who's, who's recording this, it is Carlos Bautista, which we thank him for his gifts for doing this. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. So we are done distributing Holy Communion, both the precious body and precious blood of Christ. So as I'm going to ask Mike and Zenny to come back up the stairs up over here, and if they are both willing, if there is remaining in their, in their, in their cup, and they are willing to consume it, they can come up to here and they can consume it, and then put, so if you want to show the demonstrate, you're consuming the rest of the Zenny, or you're going to put it back down here with the purificator over it. Now, let's say Mike was not willing to, and this is no reflection on Mike, so I just want to make sure. But let's say Mike didn't want to receive, re, re, consume the remaining that he has is in his cup. What he would do is he would just place it on the credence table and put the purificator over it. And in later instruction in this video, we will go over what we do with that remaining as well, too. Okay? So we had Zenny consuming her remaining. We had Mike who was not willing to, which is totally okay. As we, I want to make that very, very clear, is that it's okay and there's no judgmental going on. There's no judgment. You, but you, either way, you would put your purificator over the sacristan as we go further training into this video and know what to do at this time. Thank you. So as we're going through Holy Communion, and let's say Mike, for some reason, there is no remaining and we're halfway through only through all the lines. Mike would not still stand down there. What he would do then is just process up into the sanctuary, place his cup on the previous table, and then just place his purificator, head back down the sanctuary steps, reverently bow, and then go back to his seat. So again, too, that's, I, I'm sorry I overlooked that, but Adding that into this part of the video is if you are distributing the precious blood and you do run out and there are other people on your line, please do not stand here. Again, too, thank you for uh, distributing. What you're going to do is you're going to go right back up the sanctuary stairs, put the uh, cup on the credence table with the purificator on top of it, and then come back down and reverently bow and go back to your seat. Thank you. Okay, Mass has been, has ended. We have processed out and the recessional hymn is completed. So as normal, the sacristan would come up to the, uh, to the sanctuary and then to obviously bring everything back into the sacristy to start purifying the vessels. As we mentioned, you still may have some precious blood that has been consecrated. Please put it on the tray and keep the purificator over it as well as the one that was consumed fully as well too.
So with that being stated, as we mentioned, if you feel comfortable, you have the cart. If you want to bring that up the sanctuary, if you want to bring that up the sanctuary um, uh, ramp up over here and bring the cart and place it on the cart and wheel it back off. The only thing we do request, especially if we do have remaining precious blood, is that you go down one of the side aisles and back into the sacristy and not into the center aisle. First of all, there's a lot of people probably already still out there. Secondly, is if you're going over the tiles with the precious blood, there's any, it might start bouncing up and down and start splashing all over. And it's okay if it gets on the purificator, but we want to try to lessen that if possible. So thank you. And now we're going to head back into the sacristy to purify. Okay, so this is for the last, this last part now is the purification, which um, our sacristans are accountable for after each mass. So again, too, as you saw what we did already and we didn't show it, but if you feel comfortable, as I mentioned, to go get the, to go get the uh, cart, if you would like to, and bring the, tr the credence table tray back from the, from the sanctuary, or if you want to carry it either way, but again, too, you see everything is set up. Now for the sacristans, this is going to be a change because prior to and during, or during COVID and even up until you see this video, for those sacristans that were not comfortable consuming anything from the ciborium that is as you were um, dumping the water into and, and for the purification process, we gave you the option to go into the garden to dump out the remaining. That will no longer be the case. You will still do the same thing with the ciboria with the water, so you will put water into the ciborium and continue as you normally would. I'm just going to do a couple here for demonstra demonstration purposes. And then what we would do then, once we have all the ciborium, or the ciboria, okay, each ciborium, but ciboria, we would just, again, too, very slightly and very reverently just ensure to try to make sure we have all particles picked up in the water. We will then dump it in to any remaining, or even if it's not remaining, we will dump, if there's none remaining, we'll dump it into both cups. If there's a deacon's cup over here as well too, a deacon will purify his up at the credence table, okay? So you will not have to worry about pur purifying a deacon's cup. He will do that solely up in the sanctuary at the credence table. What we would do then, remaining or no remaining, we will then pour into just one of the cups. And if you are not as a sacristan comfortable consuming the remaining, or even from the purification, because it's still part of the, part of the purification process, nothing should be going down the sink, or again, too, as you mentioned, nothing's gonna be poured out in the garden anymore. Again, to either myself, Deacon Bob or some of our parish priests will be willing to consume. So again, too, with that perspective, they will consume. And as we always do then, is we will use a purificator before we actually uh, sanitize the cups. So as we do, as we, as we, as we normally do, we would use a purificator for the ciboria before we before we before we sanitize with the soap we will also do the same with the cups and we will just wipe everything out again too from the from the lips of the cup all the way to the inner part of the cup itself as you can see it is clean at this point and we would do that for both cups we have back here. As I mentioned, if there's a deacon involved, he will have already purified his cup, and you will see the deacon's cup, and I should have probably mentioned this, the deacon will always put his purificator inside like this. So as we mentioned, as we were, as we mentioned, putting any remaining, or even if you don't have a remaining, laying the purificator on top, this will be a good nonverbal of what's been purified by the deacon if he's assisting, and what still needs to come back to the sacristy in terms of the purificator being on top of the cup like this to purify in the sacristy. Thank you very much again to appreciate everybody's willingness to participate in filming this.
Carlos, thank you so much for your expertise on this as well. You know, you're always welcome here. And again, too, you are you are a great part of our faith community as well as everybody else here. Father Kevin, thank you for demonstrating that aspect of it, um, you know, in terms of distributing, but also everybody's um, willingness. So again, too, I want to make it clear that receiving the precious blood is optional, and that is for all of us. And we respect everybody's decision on this as well, too. The body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ is both receiving, is even if it's a speck of a consecrated host or a droplet of consecrated blood, you are still receiving him in the fullness of the gift and the greatest gift that he's ever given to us. If there are any, if there are any questions after this video or as I see you along the way the next two or three weeks, um, feel free to ask and we'll try to clarify anything we can. Thank you again, too, and thanks, everybody, for your participation. God bless.